Hey everybody, Lori Ballin here in Las Vegas with Lori Ballin Team. And today I'm going to show you how to use KW Command to send an email that includes video. I'm going to give you a couple options. So this was a question that was requested of me yesterday and I promised them I'd make a video so I'm going to share it with all of you guys. So let me go ahead and just get this uh, screen open here and I'm going to um, just make it a little bit larger so that we can really take a look. Okay, see how that works for us. So your first step is to log in to KW Command. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to send a broadcast email. So from the left hand side you're going to go down to where it says campaigns and we're going to click emails. Now you must have command email set up and you do that by going up here next to your picture drop down that little arrow go to settings I'm gonna let's go ahead and do it I'm gonna go to settings and I just want to show you if you scroll down you're going to see command email mine is already connected but the first time you see this you're gonna have the ability to connect it and it's gonna let you know that you have up to 5,000 emails per month included in that subscription which is fantastic and then it's not very expensive if you need to upgrade from there so we have 5,000 that are free okay so once you have connected that go back over to campaigns that's the megaphone on the left hand side click emails and then we're going to go up here to the right and we're going to choose create a new campaign next select email give it a name so maybe you're sending out a holiday video, a holiday newsletter, okay? And then this is just whatever your goal is. It doesn't actually change anything right at this point. So you can just pick anything. So in this particular case, brand awareness might work. And then do you wanna use command email or do you wanna use MailChimp? So this option is there for those that have MailChimp and wanna continue using MailChimp. And then we're going to click set up campaign. Okay, so you're going to see you're from um, email here. This is where you can choose your recipient list. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into create list and you're going to build a list based on the tags or based on something in the search field that you're going to use. So for example, you could put entire database or maybe your SOI, your sphere of influence, you're going to send this newsletter to, um, something like that. Then you can go into tags and you can choose your sphere of influence tag once you have tagged them. And then you would click confirm. And anybody now that is in, um, in that list, and you can pick multiple here if you want to. Okay, then on the left hand side, their names are now appearing under this select all section. I mean, under this um, section here, you have to click select all to actually get them into the list. Now, if there are more than a certain amount of names on this list, you might have to go to the next um, section. I was looking at this yesterday, and I forget what the number is, and make sure that they're all selected. And that's how you build your list. Then we're going to click confirm. Okay, sender is me, Lori Ballin. Reply to email address is team at ballinvegas.com. These are populated from the command email setup. Then you're going to give it a subject line. Happy holidays. Okay, then you're going to go into content. So we're going to click here, select design content for your email. Okay, so basically what this does now is it actually opens designs. So if you wanted to, you could go into designs and create your email first. Okay, that's another way to do it. We're noticing now with Facebook ads, Twitter ads, Instagram ads, um, landing different, not landing pages, but different applets now, it'll allow us to pull in designs and actually create all from that one space, which is really cool. So we have uh, my templates, and then we have KWRI templates, okay? So originally we had a um, really cool newsletter template that was in here. And unfortunately that 
newsletter template disappeared. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a look at all of the templates that are in here. Okay, so here's home anniversary, promote your app, and you can click on the three dots up here in the corner and click preview so that you can see if that's what you want to include. Okay, now we're going to be able to edit these. So what you're really looking for is the format that you like because they're going, you're going to be able to edit them. Okay, so this one has several pictures, as you can see. All right, just listed, just sold, featured homes, classic, um, buyer lead conversion. So I wish they had the little picture under each one of them so that we could see without clicking preview. But you're going to go find one. I was just looking to see if there was one. Let's just use this one. All right, I'm going to I'm going to look at this on a tablet if I want to up top, and here's how we can also look at it on mobile. I tend to design for mobile first, so I will click the mobile to see how this is going to come out cuz so many people are actually going to open it on a mobile device, and I know that if it looks great on mobile it's going to look good on text, but not always vice versa. And then we're going to click select template. Okay. On the right hand side here, you've got text, image, button, legal header, legal footer, listing block, market snap, video, and event block. Okay, so these are called widgets. And if you have built a landing page, if you have created a page on your website, you have probably seen these. And these are basically page builders. They're little content blocks that allow something to be added to the page. Okay. So if I don't like all this text or I only want to keep um, this these merge fields, so for example, hi, contact first name, it's going to put in whoever's name is on that list, which is fantastic. It's, and then it's going to put in my name. So if you want to keep those, you can. And then you can just click this little pencil here. And on the, on the right, you can just edit everything else out of that if you want. And then you could put in, okay, that just got weird. So I might not even leave that block in there. Okay, hold on. Let me preview and just see what I'm doing there. So it looks like somehow I removed that entire text block, didn't I? Okay, so I'm going to go back to done and I'll just drag that text block. There we go. So see what I did? you're going to play around with all of this and you can just drag and drop things in and then do your editing here. Here is what's happening in our market today for the holidays, or I just want to wish you a happy holiday season, blah, whatever it is that you want. Now you can play up here. This is your WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. So if you want to highlight something and make it bold or italic or underline or make it a different color, you can play around with all of this. These are your alignment um, sections that allow your alignment to move. This is how you make a numbered list or a bulleted list, outdent or indent or include a link. Okay, so you can play with that as much as you like and then go back to done. Now here's how you add your video. Just grab the block, drop it into wherever you want it. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I want to test this. So I'm going to drop that in. Okay, now enter the video URL. All right, so I'm going to go over to YouTube and I'm going to grab a video, any video. And this will be, pretend this is our holiday email. Okay, so what you open your, you open your video, go down here and click share, and then copy that YouTube URL. Go back and paste this in. Okay, Lori's holiday video. Now we're going to click save and let's preview and see if that video is showing up there. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure what did, what did I miss? Video, edit, enter video URL.
That's the thumbnail. Oh, okay. So now we need to add a thumbnail for that video. Okay, so whatever thumbnail you used for when you were uploading your video, you're gonna use that same thumbnail. So for example, I've got some saved. So let me go to replace and I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna go to add image, drag and drop. And I'm gonna go to anywhere I have a picture. This was me playing green screen yesterday. <laughs> I'm just gonna open that. And then once that loads, we can click replace. So what we're technically doing here is we're creating a, we call this a fake out, where the video itself is not actually in the email. It's a picture and a link. But once this is done, they it looks the same. So it's an image with the play button. So let's go ahead and preview. So I've got another tool that actually does that. As soon as I put in the YouTube URL, it actually does the fake out for me. So that's what I thought this was gonna do. But this works fine too. It's just an extra step of uploading that video, okay? And then when the person gets that email, let's see, um, preview mode, let's take a look if we can uh, do an example really quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, we're gonna click save, save and exit. And then I am going to change this recipients list to only include me because I want to send myself a sample really quick. So I'm going to deselect everybody and I'm going to find myself. Right there. And then I'm going to click confirm. Enter list name, Lori Ballin. I'm wondering, I think this allows me to send myself a test. Let me look down at the bottom real quick. Okay, so I've removed everyone else. Lori Ballin, okay, no test. There's the email on the right-hand side. Schedule, save as draft, or send. On my other program, I have the ability to send a test email, so that's just kind of what I was looking for and I don't see it. So we're gonna click send. Oh, that's perfect. Send now. Hopefully this doesn't go to anybody else with that funny picture. That would be hilarious. Okay, now we're gonna go over to our email and we're gonna pull that up in our email real quick. Okay, here's the email. I got it right away with no problem. Looks great. And again, I'm looking at what it would look like here on a, on a mobile device. And then when they click the video, it opens YouTube Internet that views and it plays their video. Okay, so that is one way that you can send video in an email broadcast. Now, let me show you how to send an email in a smart plan. Okay, so if we go over on the left hand side, we're going to go down to um, smart plans, which is this guy, right? That little icon right there. Now, the difference is a broadcast email is going to allow you to send out a mass email to whoever, whatever list you want. Smart plans are going to be an automated um, email series. They also have text message and tasks. And this is going to allow you to automate a smart plan based on a tag that you assign to a contact or if you drop that contact in to a specific uh, smart plan. So this, the idea is a broadcast is going to be a one-time send and, or a, a template that you save and send here and there. And a smart plan is going to be something that goes out all the time to anybody in the audience that would be, would be appropriately, um, tagged or in a, in a, um, yeah, I would just, just stick with that, a tag. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So we're going to, on the up, upper right, we're going to go to create. And the plan name is going to be Lori's video sample. And I'm going to click apply. So there are uh, smart plans that you can go pull from the shared library or from KW. In this particular case, I want to show you how to do this from scratch. Okay. It's different because we don't, uh, we don't have the ability to add an image yet. We don't have the ability to add a 
text, uh, um, a video URL. So let me show you what I'm doing instead. This is just an, another workaround. So we're going to go to add steps and save. And we just said this is an email. So we're going to go ahead and click the email widget. And again, there's the widgets again. Remember, everything in command is with page builders. We're using these little widgets or content blocks to build our pages and whatnot, okay? So now we go down here, again, your subject line, happy holidays. But remember, this is a this is gonna be a campaign that goes out every time you assign a tag. So it's probably not a seasonal email. It's probably more like an evergreen email, like first time home buyers, home valuation. So one example might be, um, um, about your home estimate. So let's just say you get a lead, somebody fills out your home valuation um, form and you want to send them a, a video um, that says, hey, I noticed you just requested your home e estimate. Um, it was It's actually a computerized estimate that you got. I do want to talk to you a little bit about um, how it might be different if I come out and do a a personal valuation of your home myself or virtual if you want to say virtual whatever okay you have two options down here you can send a simple email or you can click on designs we can go to select design oh did we save that template we just did Okay, hold on, I wanna see something. Copy of classic preview. This is new. Okay, hold on, watch this. So we're gonna to go to select template. Please be aware, edits made now will change this design in your library. Any smart plans or campaigns using this design? Okay, we have not shared it, so we're gonna to go to got it. Oh my gosh, this works fantastic. Okay, so I was wrong. Earlier, when I said we couldn't yet send video through smart plans, we actually can because now we can access the HTML designs. Yay! This makes me so happy, and we can include it in here. So then we're going to do save and exit, and it's in there. All be darned. Okay, so there's that's the that's the best way. Um, the simple format that I was going to suggest before I realized we had that capability now. Every time I turn on command, there's new features and new ways to do things. I just love it. So this would be your email. Hi. And you're going to go ahead and do a drop-in mail merge with the contact's first name. Okay. And then you would say whatever you want about their home estimate. And then you would say something like, I made this video for you. Take a look and let me know what questions you have. Okay, so one example of this might be um, you go out and do a virtual tour for somebody. So I've got somebody right now that I'm working with a referral and they want to see new homes that without all the staging. So these new home construction builds. So I'm going to go out and take video of the homes that they put out, the quick move-ins and whatnot that are not all staged and then send that to them. Well, this might be a way to do that. Although I wouldn't use a smart plan if it's not, that's too personal. I was just thinking out loud. Um, okay, here's another option. We run a Facebook ad and it's for a new listing that we just listed, 123 Main Street. And we took a video of 123 Main Street. Well, now we can send a smart, create a smart plan and anybody that's tagged with a uh, buyer or potential buyer or Facebook ad or that listing, whatever they're tagged, a tag identifies the audience. So if you have a group of people that you have put in your database that might be interested in that property for some reason, you could tag them or you could add them to this smart plan that, plan that now has the video. Okay. Maybe you go out and take a, a neighborhood video of all the parks in Summerlin. So you have, that's where I live, is a place called Summerlin in Las Vegas. So you go out, and, and I'm doing this right now. I'm taking video of all of these parks. Well, then maybe you create a mashup and you put them all into one video. Now, everybody in my database that's tagged as a potential buyer interested in Summerlin, I can now add them to this smart plan. And now every time somebody gets dropped in to my Summerlin um I have all these ideas going on in my head right now as I'm speaking out loud. 
this could actually be a much larger campaign. So maybe it's this week it's Summerlin Parks. Next week it's Summerlin Restaurants or next month. The following week it's the Summerlin Pools because we're, maybe we're going into summer. The next week it's Summerlin Schools. Like I could do a 12-month video series and then anybody who's interested in Summerlin gets, starts getting this series. What a great touch that would be. What a great smart plan campaign that would be. I need to go build that because that's a killer idea. Okay, so I made this video for you. Take a look and let me know what questions you have. Then you would highlight by taking your mouse, highlight over I made this video for you or this video, whatever it is, wherever your video is going to be. And then click this little link and then you would add your URL right there and click add link. And this is also the best way to send a text, a video over text through the format as well, because then you can send them a link. You can send them a short YouTube link or a short bit.ly link or anything like that. So that is another way to send video. So both of these ways, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video right here. Both of those ways, uh, that was technically three ways. One is through your simple email. The second is through your design templates with smart plans and the third way was through a broadcast email one i'm not going to stop the video one more way go to contacts that was the third one i was thinking of earlier go to contacts open a contact click the email and then um when it opens in i think this is going to open gmail okay then you can send them your email through Gmail. Okay, so that would be the third way is to actually click on their um, email, allow your Gmail to open, and then you can send them an email through through your uh, Gmail as well that you've already preset or, or you can attach images, you can put your, you can do all the fancy stuff that you want to do through your Gmail then, right? So those are your strategies. Three ways to send an email through KW Command. I'm Lori Ballin. Thank you so much for following me today.